Hello, so in this video I will be showing you how to create a like a container or carrier type thing uh, where you carry some milk bottles. I just thought it was a fun idea for a prop to make. I don't think I've seen that many props uh, for this specifically, so I just thought it was a good, somewhat unique idea, I guess. So obviously I decided to make it in the Maya. And uh, this is one another one of those really geometric shapes, so mostly using primitives to create it. And uh, I got some reference images that I found online. I'm going to be using those mostly for reference and just to, um, I'm not going to copy them exactly, but just like get an idea of what something like this actually looks like. It will be stylized, but I think it's always a good idea to still look at some real reference images. So this one I'm going to be making symmetrically, so that uh, when I do the UVs I don't have to UV every single piece, and I can just symmetrically use pieces. And obviously I'm just going to make one bottle of milk. I'm going to use the top and just make it more like a, um, like a more modern type of bottle. The wood cap on top instead of the metallic one from the images. Also going to add a screw. I'm going to make this as actual geometry so that it comes out a little bit. And it's not just baked into the texture. Uh, but like I said, this is going to be fairly symmetrical. So I don't have to do a lot of work on each side. So for the UVs, I'm going to UV only one side, so I'm going to delete the other side, um, just so it's easier to make UVs. And sometimes when you do UVs and unfold, you'll see that some areas are uh, highlighted red. That means that the, that UV piece is, um, is flipped, so you want to flip that or redo the UVs for that part, so that when you do the layout, it actually lays out things uh, more appropriately. Then for the bottom, I'm going to uh, delete the top. So this is going to be essentially the glass piece. And then the top, I'm just going to make, I want to make cylindrical shapes uh, relatively straight in the UV space. Then I'm just going to select everything and do a layout. And from there, I'm going to mirror the pieces back so that they, they're essentially going to share the same UV space. I'm going to offset the UVs for the uh, mirror pieces, uh, but I only do that because sometimes in, my, in a Substance Painter, UVs don't bake when you have overlapping UVs. Uh, it doesn't always happen, but just in case I, I uh, decide to offset overlapping UVs. And then I'm going to duplicate uh, the bottles and some of the other pieces like screws that are also going to be sharing the same UVs as the original. And 
and then I'm going to merge all those pieces because uh, this one that piece doesn't really matter uh, for baking purposes it's just there for previewing in substance painter and so I'm going to offset the UVs for that so everything that's uh, highlighted red is essentially overlapping UVs And then one thing I forgot to add was the interior or the liquid for the milk. So I'm going to duplicate the bottle and then use that as the interior for the, um, the milk uh, liquid. And then for the glass, I'm going to apply a different material to it. Since it's glass, it's, I'm just going to keep it as a separate material from everything else. Then the last thing is I set the smoothing groups. I'm using a plugin that I got for automatically smoothing groups. Uh, if you're interested in that, I can share the link for it. And then for the high poly, I'm just going to duplicate everything and uh, mostly just bevel edges. I'm not going to take this one to ZBrush because I'm not going to add a lot of details to it. I want it to be relatively simple. So I'm mostly going to bevel edges and I'm going to use that as my high poly model in Substance Painter. And essentially going to rename the pieces so that they are underscore high so that the names match between the low poly and the high poly and all of that I'm going to use in Substance Painter I'm going to import my low poly and bake using that high poly model and I'm going to use the default settings except I'm going to set it to bake by name and then I'm going to use the stylized material that I always use uh, this I made this one myself. Um, there's a tutorial in the video description if you want to learn how to make it yourself. Uh, but I'm going to use that as the base material so that I can get what I want. I also set the bottle's material to be glass to use the uh, uh, PVR uh, with opacity. And then for the wood, I'm trying to get rid of some of that baked lighting. Starting to get away from too much baked lighting lately. Skip it a little bit closer to PBR. And I'm using exactly, exactly the same material and duplicating some of the color layers to change some of the different materials like the milk um, liquid inside. And one thing I want to do is I want to add some wood fibers. So for the fibers, I'm just going to make a color map using the wood fiber uh, texture that comes with procedural texture that comes with Substance Painter here. And all I did was rotate it and just change some of the settings as well as changing the opacity of that layer. This is just so that the wood has a little bit more detail and it's not just a flat color. Also, I'm going to update the roughness for this so that it's also not a, a one value roughness. And there's some variation there for the, the shininess of the, of the wood itself. And here another thing I'm going to do is change some of the pieces, some of the colors for some of the pieces slightly. So that they don't all look the same. Uh, but anyway, here is the final render in Marble Set Toolback, and uh, I hope you liked this one. Uh, it was really simple, but if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Do you see this environment right here? I made this really quickly using Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, and Substance Designer and Unreal Engine. You too can make something like this really easily and in a short period of time. 
To make an environment like this one, all you have to do is make a few simple props, put them together in Unreal, and then simply add some lights and you're pretty much done. So hey, this is only a 45 second ad, so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. So click on the link below now and I will show you exactly how I made this environment. The best thing about learning how to make an environment like this one is that you can simply use the same techniques to pretty much make any other type of environment. Oh, and by the way, you don't need to be an expert already in order to learn how to make something like this. You can follow along without any prior knowledge. I will be showing you the basics on how to use Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, and Unreal Engine, so you can follow along without any issue. Like I said, this is a very short video, so I don't have enough time to explain everything. So click on that link below and I will show you exactly how this is done. And by the way, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for, so click on that link now so you don't miss out.